everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm not really sure where I saluted you, but you'll get used to my weird things happening in this video as you go along, as you do. Never mind. Anyways, today I thought that I would do a Wet n Wild haul because when I was in America, I picked up a few things from Wet n Wild, but when I came back, Beauty Bay, aka the mothership of all makeup, sent me an email saying that they were going to be stocking Wet n Wild and I just had to pick up some pieces and I thought that I would just try them out and show you what I think and I've got them all on my face now so you can see them and let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing that I picked up was from Beauty Bay, not in America. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Ivory. This is the lightest shade, not very cool um, Wet n Wild. I wasn't really impressed with how many shades they had available. Kind of hoping, actually really, really hoping that they'll extend that because I am certain there were more shades available when I was in America of this. So we'll have to wait and see, but if you've got darker skin tones, it, it's just, it sucks and I'm, I just, there is no excuse for it. So hopefully they will release more shades. Um, this is a goodbye photo flashback, helps eliminate white particle reflection, uh, has been tested, I can't really see very well, which is why I'm going to has been tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models with and without flash so the jury is out whether you think it has got flashback or not i find it glowy but not too oily which is like the perfect amount for me um the thing about this product is that it has a speed we speed shovely applicator look see it speed shovely applicator that's forever how it's going to be known speed shovely we applicator thing and it kind of reminds me of when you were younger and you used to turn down the pages in the Argos catalogue for Santa. Those were the days. And um, you'd see the makeup kits that came with like the foundation, that came with the eyeshadow kit that had 4,000 eyeshadows in it and 12 blushers and 10 little compact lipsticks. You know the kinds that I mean, that had the little speed in it. In fact, I'm quite certain that when I was younger, I had a collection 2000 um, similar speedy shovelly thing i'm quite sure that they had one um that's what it kind of reminds me of for some reason of when i was younger and makeup was just i don't know where i was going with that one and it smells like paint it smells industrial for some reason i'm not really sure what that's all about but at least you know that it hasn't got added fragrance in it so that's always a bonus um maybe it does maybe i'm just talking absolute shish kebab and i've got no idea um, I was just about to read just some of the stuff from the bottle there and I was reading the French side so that was that was really good well done Holly so I have been wearing this for about four to five hours now because I wanted to apply it let it sit see how it oxidized see how it lasted and that kind of thing and then although I really should have worn it for you know 12 hours or whatever else to let you see exactly what I think of how it lasts I will do a follow up on that I thought that wearing it for four or five hours was was pretty good going um I haven't noticed it causing any dry patches or I've got no filter on this or anything like that I've not got any patches on my head I've not got any huge oxidization which I really really like because I hate products that oxidize on my skin particularly if they don't tell me they're going to oxidize on my skin so that is a win for me and for the price I really enjoy it downside is the shade availability but fingers crossed that that's going to expand and I'm certain there were more than eight shades available um, when I was in America but I will let you know I'll let it I'll probably look and put it in the description but oh look flamingo wings I call them flamingo wings because chickens well they're, they're lovely animals but they're not they're not very pretty animals so for me I'm gonna call them flamingo wings because who doesn't love a nice flamingo wing makes sense to me so to go along with that foundation, I also bought the concealer, which is also the Photo Focus. So this is the same um, shade name as the foundation, but it's completely different. Look till I show you. Look till I show you. The, I don't know if that's coming through on camera or not, but the concealer, I would say, is much peachier than the foundation, which is really annoying because for me... A concealer should be a step lighter than a foundation. I don't know whether that's the rule overall, but for me, that's how I like to roll. Um, I don't want darker circles under my eyes and I do on my cheeks. You know, makes sense to me. And I wasn't impressed by that. I don't know why that is wet and wild, so you can let me know. And this was the latest shade that was available, so it's not even like I had just picked up the wrong shade. This was the lightest shade that was available. And surely to God, the lightest shade should be darker than the darkest, the, the lightest shade of foundation. Look at the difference in that. 
that is a crazy crazy difference on top of that it just has a normal sort of like spongy doe foot applicator type thing um which is kind of standard but what i would say is that i feel like it, the applicator is extremely dry and kind of it's it's like it's been sitting out you know the grass is really crunchy outside right now because the weather's been so hot and it's been like burnt that's how the applicator of this feels but yet i have just taken the um sealer off it the packaging off it so i know it's brand new so i don't know the sign of a good concealer for me is how long i can go without having to set it over and over again before it creases i went five minutes with and I noticed that this was creasing already, so I'm not overly impressed by this. I think it was around about £3, so complete bargain. I'm not mad at it. I would probably put it on as a base for my eyeshadow, or if I've got a tan, I might I, I might be more inclined to use this, because right now this is too dark for my skin tone, although I don't know that you can tell that it is too dark, judging by the look of my face right now. Um, yeah. Not overly impressed by this, I have to say, but for £3, if you can get the right shade for you, I think this is alright. It's not great, but it's alright. Sticking with complexion, I picked up a blush and a highlight. So the blush is the Wet n Wild Colour Icon, um, and this one is in shade... <sighs> don't know, because I've probably peeled, I've peeled off the thingy majigging me. And it's like this sort of corally shade with gold running through it and like I said I've got it on my cheeks just now it's nice what I would say about all Wet n Wild um, eyeshadows and blushers is that they're so so pigmented and for eyeshadow that's amazing um, but for blush I like to kind of build up my blush rather than have it being a full colour really quickly but I mean I used a stippling brush and normally when I use that I find that it's much lighter <sighs> it went on I mean so so bright look look I'll do a swatch for you look at that I mean it's not even doing it justice it's so so bright I can't even tell you how bright it is it just it's yeah very very bright very orange not usually my cup of tea but um blended out with a little bit of bronzer instead of just being by itself is actually pretty nice and I would say that for the price I think it's around about 250 again it's pretty nice, I quite like it. Um, they didn't have very many shades of these available. So this one, I'm not sure what shade it is, but it's like the corally kind of shade that is in, oh, it's right here, pearlescent pink. It's not pink, that ain't pink, that's coral. That's like an orange color. I mean, with the greatest will in the world, that is not pink, that ain't pink, is it? No, it's not pink, it's orange, look at my skin. It's got a lot of gold running through it as well not not pink so it's not true to the name but i'm not mad at it i quite like it i do quite like it but if you're looking for something subtle this is not your bag not your bag but if you're looking for something quite strong you know pay your money take your chances last for complexion is the blossom glow wet and wild mega glow i was gonna say mega glow mega glow highlighting powder and this is what it looks like it is so pearly and i have on now and it is quite a good highlight i would say very powdery it's not creamy at all it is very very powdery and for me i hate hate imprints in my highlights because it just makes it difficult for me to wind the brush in can we swatch it out there for you i don't know if you can see that very well it's kind of rubbish on this camera because the lighting just kind of blanks it out a little bit, it just white washes it out. But yeah, I have it on my skin right now and I do like it. I have to say I do like it. It's very pearly and I would say use it with caution because if you have aging skin like I do, nobody point it out, thank you very much, at 31 years old, um, it does settle into fine lines. So just use it sparingly, be careful how you use it. I use it with a Real Techniques um, setting brush, which I find is the best one to use it with because a fan brush just does not do it for me at all. And I never, ever, 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 ever put it on the tip of my nose because that just looks ridiculous. Um, by all means, put it on your cupid's bow, your eyebrow bone and the tops of your cheeks. That's where I like to apply it anyway because that's where I think it looks best. So, yes, very, very um, pearly and shimmery. But I actually really do like it. So I'm not sure how much this costs, but I will 
tell you in the description bar below. I know that I picked this up in America, but I know that Beauty Bay were saying, uh, selling it because I've seen it and went to pick it up. Why do I keep on coughing? Okay, up next are eyes. So the first thing that I bought was this brow, Ultimate Brow Retouchable Brow Pencil, and this one's in medium brown. And I have to say, I don't know if you can see how thick that is, but it's very thick. It's a much more jumbo pencil than I expected it to be, and I hate the word jumbo. But, um, jumbo. Curse the word jumbo. But yeah, this, I don't know why I'm doing that, but this is what it goes on. Like, it's got one of those angled, um, thingamajingamies applicators, and it goes on really nice. It goes on like a pencil, um, and it has a slight angle and a point, which I really like. I don't usually use that kind of product, but I actually do like it. It's really pigmented, so you can draw on the fine hairs really easily. And for me, who has got very sparse hairs and or sparse hairs, I don't know how to say things. Scottish people don't really know how to say things properly sometimes. Get used to it. If you watch my videos, you will get used to it because I can't really see it. But I like this a lot and it's retractable. You don't need to sharpen it or anything like that. That is my favourite. Everything retractable is... So I do like this, um, the shade is perfect for me. I would say that I have extremely dark eyebrows naturally, but this one seems to do it for me. And although my eyebrows are not even right now, <laughs> bear with, it's because I am due to get them threaded and I can't be asked to go and get them done. <laughs> okay, last for eyes was the Wet n Wild What Are You? Colour Icon Rosie in the Air. This is what the palette looks like and I'm not showing you the front because it's grubby AF. Because I, the one thing that I hate about it with Wet n Wild are the little stickers they put on for you to open it and I freaking hate that. Anyways, moving on. This is the palette here and it is flipping beautiful. I have the colours on, well, two of the colours on my eyes right now. And I have to say that because of this palette, I have been really reaching for purpley shades. These two purpley shades here, uh, what are you called? They don't have names, they're just nameless shades. Um, they're kind of purpley toned and I normally wouldn't reach for purple at all. Not usually in my bag, but I had been reaching them for reaching for them quite a lot and I have to say I'm really enjoying it. And it's mainly because of this palette, I have to say. Um, and I say I have to say an awful lot. So I put the bone sort of colour all over and I love this transition colour, this one right here, um, for in the crease of my eyes. So yeah, I absolutely flipping love this palette. So, so pigmented and I'm going to do swatches and stuff over in my blog so you can go and take a look over there for that. I'm not going to do them right now because they will make a mess. But I have them in my eyes. That is enough swatch for you all. Take a look. Take a look. I didn't get a mascara or anything like that because I have previously had Wet n Wild mascaras and I'm not impressed by them. However, if you want me to pick one up and try it out, I will try it out because they seem to have a whole host of different formulas now. Spiel by with. Last up, I picked up some lip products. So I picked up three of their, what are you called, gel lip liners. This one is in shade Got the Juice. This is the shade right here. This one is in Think Flamingos. That is a tongue twister and I'm showing you the wrong end. And this one is in Bear to Comment. And this is actually one of my absolute faves to put on. I like actually wearing this with... Um, a nude lipstick, uh, what's it called, Mare or Soar, one of the two. I bought the Mare Soar combo, Mare lip liner, lip Soar lipstick, or vice versa, whatever they are, and I don't regret it one bit, I freaking love them. So thank you to Lily Pebbles for <laughs> suggesting them. Anyways, moving on. I picked these up for the main reason, they're retractable, and that makes my life so, so happy because I am a lazy mofo, and I haven't said that in a very, very long time, mofo, um, and I hate sharpening things. I think that after the first sharpen, they lose their... Don't know where I was going with that, but you know what I mean. And yeah, so I picked them up because they were retractable and because they were only $2.99 when I was over there, and I believe they are four pounds and 50 or four no there's four pounds they're four pounds here i'll check i'll check and put everything in the description bar below but they're four pounds here um which is a wee bit more expensive it's like a pound dearer or something like that which is yeah you know but i don't regret any of these shades except for the pink flamingo one think flamingo i don't like it at all it is so so pink it's like 
Oh, I've just broke it. <laughs> I broke it. Um, but it is so incredibly pink that it's like a white washed pink and it just does no favours whatsoever for my skin tone. I think this would probably really, really suit darker skin tones and people who have got a nice tan. Um, but for me, it just does not do any favours whatsoever. And it does look much darker um, in the lid than it actually is on my hand. So the last product that I am wearing is this Wet n Wild, and I've got lipstick all over it. I don't know what is wrong with me right now. And it is the Smoking Hot Pink, and I think this is a gel matte lipstick. And I freaking love how it looks, but I freaking hate applying it. So I think this was £3, which is an absolute bargain. And I love the colour payoff for it. I don't know if you can see properly, but it's like this gorgeous blue toned pink, and I freaking love it. But it doesn't come without its problems because it doesn't have. Um, a pointed applicator so it does make it a little bit tricky for doing edges and that kind of thing uh, when you're when you're applying it and I do find it to be a little bit draggy. One thing I would say though is that once it's on your lips it is completely matte but it feels satin. It feels satin without being satin, without looking satin. It, it is completely matte and it doesn't go anywhere. I friggin, I friggin love it. Um, oh, maybe a little bit. It doesn't really transfer much. I had a drink earlier on. It didn't go anywhere. Um, but it was a drag. <laughs> See what I did there to apply. Um, but if you're happy with that or if you like, prefer to sort of use it with your fingers or with a brush or whatever, um, you might prefer it to use it that way. But for the colour payoff itself, it was so worth it because I really, really like it. And I will be investing in a couple more. So there you have it. Those are my Wet n Wild products that I picked up and I hope that you enjoyed the video. It's been a hot minute since I did one and I keep saying a hot minute in a New York... Oh no, I think I've got the wrong words. Is it New York minute or is it in a subway... What is... What are... No, I don't know. Anyway, not up that then. Anyways, I have now finished my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed how it looked on my face. That's all I've got to say for that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And again, thank you for watching.